people who have actually slept with their step-sibling or sibling. How did it happen and how was your relationship affected? Before we dig into it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Story 1 oh yes, only a short few days into quarantines and we have already arrived here. Story 2 mum dated a guy. Guy had a son same age as me. We hated our parents and slept together, had a fun time, broke up due to him using drugs and me not dealing with it. Both are married to other people and happy. We don't talk even through. We see each other at family gatherings after our parents got married. Edit to clarify, he was on drugs for years. Lied to me over and over that he was clean and he wasn't. I was always trying to support him, but he just didn't want to clean up. Yet he did clean up for his wife. Story 3 slept with my former sister-in-law. Is that close enough? How'd it happen? She hated my ex-wife for her sister. My ex-wife cheated on me. We were drinking together about six months after it ended and she said, you should frick me to get even. Relationship didn't at all change. We just know each other a little better than we used to, both dating others now, and it's like it never happened. Edit well, this blew up. No, the ex doesn't know. She's killed both of us, not even joking. Story 4, dad dated a woman. He dated a lot of women so it became normal she had a daughter. We got drunk at a party, hooked up real boy meets world crap. Then they got married and that's when we cut it out. Then they got divorced and I'm still not burning her anymore. Story 5 asked me after quarantine. Story 6, my parents are actually step-siblings. They began dating when they were teenagers and when their parents met. They fell in love and got married, making my mom and dad step siblings. They ended up moving in together since they were both still living with their parents and my grandparents just let them share a room. It's always been a joke in our family that my mom is my aunt, my dad is my uncle and my brothers are my cousins. Edit, grandma lol. Edit 2, my grandparents didn't fall in love until after my parents had started dating and my parents broke up after becoming step siblings but not before my mom got pregnant with me. Both of my brothers are half brothers so I'm the only one in this predicament. My parents haven't been together for 23 years but they are still step siblings to this day. Edit 3, here's a fun little story since this is blowing up. My parents broke up before finding out that my mom was pregnant with me. One of my half-brothers is only two months younger than me. Once my brother's mom became pregnant, she moved into my dad's room, causing my dad to have to live with two separate women, both pregnant with his babies at the same time. The whole situation was messed up. Story 7 just joined Reddit and one of the first things I've seen is this. Wow, edit, holy crap. I haven't been on the site for more than two days, but here I am. Thanks for the charm and silver things. Story 8 I've already started pre-gaming, so if people could start sharing stories before I run out of loop, that would be nice. Story 10 I slept with my stepsister. She came in town for visit her dad and when I went outside to help bring luggage in, she gave me the frick me eyes as soon as she saw me and instantly I knew I was in trouble. For a week and a half I kept being polite and trying to remain distant because I had been warned by my stepdad and her brothers to not even look in her direction, not bring any friends over, not do anything wrong, and I had absolutely no intention of doing so. But it was the first time I had ever had anyone want me that badly and I gave in, and we secretly got together. For the remainder of the month she spent in town. We were both young and dumb and fell in love and thought we hid it well. But when they found out after she left I got my ass beat. For a few years they wouldn't let her visit and we kept in touch. Then after college, I moved to where she lived and we have been together ever since 11 years now and we have a 5 year old daughter and 3 year old son. Everyone is completely fine with it now and we make jokes about it all the time. Edit, feel free to ask questions. First kiss kiss first bang bang. Do my kids call me dad or uncle first time I met her mom or grandparents? How I explain things to my dad or co-workers lots of funny stories to share. Story 11 not me but my close family. My grandmother had three husbands, four children with all different dads. My mother's dad was sexually abusive and had been sleeping with my aunt mom's older sister. They continued that relationship for years. My grandma divorced him and he married my aunt. So my aunt was also a step grandma and my mother's dad was also uncle. When he finally died, I remember my mother saying, I don't want to go to his funeral, but I really think I should be there to support my stepmom. That woman has always had a warped sense of humor. I love it. Story 12, no serious tag. Story 14, it was weird. She just kept bending over a lot and saying stepbrother and asking me to help her with really easy stuff. Then, I swear, I blinked and she was bouncing on my cock yelling, this is wrong, but I love it. Story 15, I'm late to this, but here's my story that I had posted and the Tiffy guy's post dude banged his cousin. This was in reply to a comment. Well, at least she wins crap tears breakup story. My wife wrecked her brother in my bed when I went upstairs to sleep. 
We had company over and they were a bit loud and my bed is on the first floor where they all were. So I decided to go upstairs, cause it would be quieter. Woke up about two to three hours later and went downstairs to grab water and rejoin my wife, but she already had company. I'm pretty sure I win craftest breakup story. Edit probably should have used a throwaway for this, but whatever, Edit were to answer a lot of common questions. They have the same mother but different fathers, so they're technically half brother or sister. She was adopted and met him about six months prior. They were talking on the phone constantly, to the point where, even though I was happy she found her family, I had to let her know. I thought the frequency of their talking was weird. They are still literally on the phone 24 slash 7. I've caught her trying to put him on mute and in her pocket so they'd still be together. It's insanely unhealthy. Yes, they were drunk, but they knew what they were doing and they're still doing it to this day. I found out about this in February of 2019. I attempted to try to work things out with her and she had said they were just talking and it wasn't like that anymore. I got a Facebook video chat request from her brothers, then girlfriend telling me she found an appropriate text between them and left him. She again told me they were done and they weren't taking any more after that because his girlfriend had added them to her newfound family and she received messages from her sisters telling her they were disgusted and wished they never found her, etc. I believed again they were done. At this point, we were going out for my birthday in April and I found her sending pictures of herself dressed up to him with replies about how sexy she looked in emails between them about how you know what we have, we can't deny it anymore. It was gut-wrenching and heartbreaking. I served her shortly after she's been delaying the court dates, claiming she needs more time to find a lawyer because she doesn't have anywhere else to go and the house is in my name and I can't exactly evict her. The Game of Thrones references aren't as funny as you think they are when it's happening to you in real life. That was one of my favourite shows and I can't even think about it anymore. Neither are the Pornhub ones. I literally can't go on a porn site to jerk off anymore because everything is incest related and I instantly shut down. I may do a tiffer of my own or maybe a different subreddit at some point. It's been cathartic to get this out there and read some nice replies and support from everyone, but the jerks and the people who think I'm making this up for freaking internet points might outweigh it. For everyone who said something kind or comforting, thank you. And thank you for the awards, although I really don't think this is award worthy. I'm absolutely miserable. I've been with her for literally half my life. She's the mother of my child. I never expected to lose her like this. Edit 3. Thanks to mostly everyone for the kind words, support and advice. A lot of the common questions people have asked have been answered on my original post, which you can read in my comment history if you're interested, for the handful of people who are calling me an idiot or cuck and whatever other fun names you thought up just because I didn't flip a switch in my head and immediately remove this person from my life, or because I tried to work through it with her to see if this relationship could be saved it's a lot harder than you think. I wish it were that easy, but it's not. I'm going to turn 35 this year and we've been together for 17 years. We have a six-year-old child who does not understand what's going on. I really hope none of you find yourself in the position I was put in, but I can guarantee you wouldn't be able to snap your fingers and move on either. So save your snarky bullcrap. You don't just wake up one day and decide every feeling you've had for the love of your life and the mother of your child is gone. It's taken me some time and I'm slowly moving on, but I'd be lying if I said I still didn't care about her. There are times when we're doing things together with my son and I have to remind myself that we're not together anymore. It's hard and it probably will be for a very long time. Story 16 If people found out you slept with your step-sibling, you would get some stares. Story 17 My dad's brother married my mom's sister. My parents somehow didn't really meet until several months after the wedding. My cousins and I are as close to incest as it gets without actually crossing blood relatives just for fun. My siblings have a different dad than me so I actually look more related to those cousins than I do my own siblings. I just try to not explain that to people, but it definitely is weird way it gets out edit, I should explain. It's only weird because people get confused until they figure out it's just two sisters married two brothers. My parents are divorced now anyway, so it rarely comes up more. If we ever get together and a newcomer mentions it's funny I look like my cousins and my siblings and I don't look related pretty much. Story 18 I had a friend in high school that dated this girl for like 6 months before their parents decided to randomly get married. They the parents only dated for like a month. A few months later he is trying to set me up with his sister and bragging that she gives good head. It was very weird. Story 19 Do half sisters count? It was the bottom half, if that makes a difference. 